All right, this is Terry, and I've got Emmy with me, and we are at the... Kalamazoo Expo Center. The 2019 Ham Fest. Let's go check it out. All right, so we met up with Gary. So this is kind of competition to your swap meet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Got so, a lot more people here. Still doing yours uh, this oh, yeah. coming uh, yeah. July? Yeah. Yep. All right. Last Saturday in July. See there? You get to plug yourself on yeah. this video, yeah. man. That's great. <laughs> Hey man, do it. did you bring your wallet today? Yeah, I got. Did I you bring got, your wallet? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's horrible. Is there a little story you would care to tell me? <laughs> yeah, I know where it is. It's sitting in the drawer at home, and I didn't drive, so I came with him. <laughs> so you're mooching off this guy. I'm gonna have to. All right, man. All right, I can help the next All right, Emmy. I hear you got him for free. Yes, I'm lucky. Hey, you know why? They saw you and said, "Oh, it's Emmy. She has to get him for free, but make that old guy pay." Come on, let's go. Let's go. Go. How's it going, man? All right, Em. I'm going to do my general walkthrough. You uh, can get, do what you want to do, or you can hang out with me. You want to do the walkthrough? Uh, I'm probably just going to just walk around. <clears throat> All right, let's just do the walkthrough. All right? All right. Let's go. Can I pick you? Can I have my camera? Sure. Hold on. There he is. Yeah, man. I see you got a load again. Good morning. When are you ever going to sell bro. out on all these tubes? You going to buy it from me? Good morning. <laughs> hey, I put you on video. That should help. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, man. We're going to take a little walk through. Look at there. A Robin CB. That's that daisy yellow one. Everybody loves those. Very They're cool. Rare. Yeah, they are, man. It's cool. Got a whole line of radio equipment here. Yeah, those are only good for about 300. Johnson Matchbox. Three to 500 watts. Don't call me everywhere you are. You're talking everywhere I am. I'm here, man. I'm here doing the initial walkthrough. Yeah. Hold on a second. All right, so Emmy. Yeah. Emmy's going to do a little Emmy cam moments throughout the ham fest, right? Okay. All right. Get lost. You got your own camera. I don't need you anymore. Get. All right. Here we go. Ooh, I see a Johnson Mobile transmitter over here. Let's swoop around the table and then we'll go the other way. How you doing, man? How you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm right here, man. I thought I recognized you. Yeah, well, she's shooting her own show today. She, so okay, she said right? no old guys cool. allowed, so hey, uh, you really shouldn't be in that camera. Hey. Gotta, gotta <laughs> Good man. What you said you had something free for me. Why do you keep every time I step over you step the other way to block me? What's the deal? I got this. Really? I'll give you this for a hundred. Hundred what? Hundred bucks. How about a hundred gumballs? No, no, no. You know what? what? I think you ought to <clears throat> buy it. You know why? Why? Because I'm telling you, you should buy it. <laughs> That's why. That's going to go over real well on YouTube. <laughs> the Mad Hatter. <laughs> That's pretty wild, man. I like that. You're going to run into some uh, over-anxious, concealed carry guy that's going to draw down on you once you do that. <laughs> Leave it to Harry. Hopefully he doesn't fire He'll first. get it film. He can present it to Oh, the I jury. will, man. Yeah. I will. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hit the rest of this, and then we'll play, all right? All right. I got a lot of work to do. Great. Here we go. Is this your stuff? Can I have that mobile unit? Okay, hold on. Huh. What kind of uh, wick does that take? It takes, uh, it takes a couple batteries for a wick. Uh, I see how it is. Hey, it says super rare. I've got two of those. It can't be that rare. You got two of them? Two. Yeah, can I have that one? Well, since it isn't mine, <laughs> it's, it's my man's. Oh, okay. Well, it's cool. All right, you off said we go. It's super rare, so. I, I'm, I'm going with it. It's good, man. 
it's good. Give me the business. Is, is this thing it. is this thing with the battery wick yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's lovely. Okay, uh, I'd rather have the single bander down there. Right. Yeah. All right, I'll be back, man. Is this the rare one? That lower over there. Okay. It's a high end It's uh, missing the bottom plate, though. The dancing tube radio. Did you see that? Why are they doing that? I know what it is. The table. When Harry walked by, the whole floor sagged. <laughs> You know what? What? What time you got to get back to the home today? Uh, they said they'd let you out today because you weren't drooling I, much. I know, man. I know. <laughs> I'm just picking on you. Off I go. Hey, man. What's going on? Not much. Doing my thing. Okay, got to so get it while the getting's good. What's that? It's not working out. Currently. Why? Well, I, I can't tell you. I bought it from a state. Oh, you did um, buy it. How are you doing there, Terry? <laughs> I bought it from a state. Um, the guy built an AC supply. Normally it has a separate AC supply. He built it inside of it. Uh, it's partially recapped, but the line cord's cut off, so I don't know if that means something or not. But like I say, I haven't tried to power it. probably it does. Does. I power it, only, but it's clean as a whistle You only use it on Sundays then? Uh, it was looked at seven days a week, but only <laughs> every third for fun. Every I got third you, man. Thursday. Yep. Good to see you, Terry. You having fun? Yeah, man. Hey, Steve, who's running the net? Good morning. Uh, Dan, W8NWF's running the DX60 net this morning. Okay. So I actually, this is a SP10? Uh, it's an SP100. It's a 100. Yeah. So I have a 10. And um, these are these are great receivers. This one has metal tubes in it. The SP10 has glass. Yep. Hmm. This one's got a built-in AC supply instead of a separate AC supply. Somebody along the way built, built, built that AC in supply there. into it. So a lot of these Super were used inside. as uh, monitoring receivers for broadcast stations because um, they were so capable of rejecting uh, adjacent signals. So, yep. you know, great selectivity and, right. and uh, Con Continuously rejection. variable from 2 to 16 uh, kilohertz. <laughs> so unique about this model versus the SP10 this does not have a front panel IF gain control on it. The SP10 does. Yeah. This is your front panel IF gain, and then there was an RF gain control also on an SP10. Huh. Hey, so. you want to plug the net while I got you in video? Absolutely. Advertisement? Check in. DX60 net, 3883.880 megahertz each Sunday morning. At start The net starts at 8 o'clock a.m. Pre-net starts sometime around 7. W-A-T-O-W net control typically. All right, we'll see you there, man. Yeah, you right. betcha. And don't forget Thanks. the mighty l -Mac net on Wednesday night, 8 o'clock Michigan time, 3880. All right, man. You got one to plug, hey, too? Uh, be there or be square. <laughs> <laughs> Good seeing you guys. Okay, Terry. See you. Thank you, Terry. <clears throat> All right, I think I walked by these uh, Talons radios earlier. She has her own camera. Uh -oh. She's running her own show. She doesn't want me involved. You're teaching her. They got huh? too. Yeah. She yeah. got too old. Oh yeah, you see her. You spot her. Um, she's wearing a little pink outfit somewhere. She'll come and interview you guys. So apparently, I have some people that want to talk to me. Let's see who they are. Who are you this morning? I'm sorry. Good. You? We're getting pretty good. It's been a year since we saw you the last time, and now you've got your own camera. Unfortunately, I missed the extravaganza. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have seen him, but I don't know where. Are you with Grandpa around, or are you going on your own? I'm on my own, okay. fortunately. I get away from him. Huh? I get away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Got this kid here running the show. I'm sure he wants to talk to me. Fishing reel, is that a Mitchell? Did I call that? Look at there, an old Mitchell. Had those when I was a kid. Oh, ha, ha. here's something for all the guys. I'm gonna have to buy that. Star Trek trivia. How's it going, man? All right, selling anything? Yeah, all right. What is it, is it, uh... oh, there we go. A dollar. See, that makes it easy when you advertise prices, man. A lot of people don't. Good luck. <clears throat> Looks like maybe a Johnson meter right there. Hey. 
Oh, now we got the $5 table. Yeah. I get it. You're in with this guy over here, aren't you? Yep, okay, brothers. I got it. How come you get five bucks, he only gets a buck? Because he's the older. <laughs> one of the two. Makes sense, right? I get it. I get it. All right, good luck. Thank you. Hamsters. <laughs> A lot of meters. Some good stuff here this year so far. I'm early. I'm sure more good stuff will pop out. I like the SB 401 designed after the Collins look. I think it was actually the Collins engineer. HW8. I ran a couple of those. They're very cool. Hey. Collax over there. How you doing, man? All right, let's see what else we got. I haven't bought anything yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I have not seen Emmy, so either she dropped her camera. Hey, man, what's going on, Doug? Hey, Terry. Here to purchase hand buying Heath stuff for close to St. Joe, right? What, what is it, man? What'd you get? Oh, this is the uh, IM25. This oh, is wow. the one with the uh, measures current. This is like a, a transistorized voltmeter, hmm. but it measures current. Mm -hmm. And the big thing about this is there's like a reference voltage inside with like a mercury battery, and you got to replace that. Uh, but it's actually a fairly sensitive meter, and uh, you can make a yeah, really nice, nice meter. Yeah, this is yeah, very nice. Beauty. Closer to St. Joe, more more heat stuff. <laughs> That's right, man. All right, good deal. Okay, let's roll. Hello. How you doing, man? Hey, all right, how are you? Good. Sales good? Uh, well, I've sold like one thing so far. <laughs> ah, look at this poor Robin. Yeah. Man. They came off a battleship or something? Uh, a barn floor, from what I a understand. A barn floor, all right. So <laughs> it, could, it could have some tenants inside, huh? Like uh, little furry guys? I maybe? don't think so. Okay. It's, it's all it's all sealed up. Nothing's chewed oh, okay. out. It's just, it just needs some help. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's the kind of stuff you want to bring here. Yep. A lot of Heath kit stuff, too. I used to have one of those, those electronic switches for a scope. You got some good stuff, man. Good luck. Thank you. Look at there. An old DeVry Institute. Was this kind of like a proto board of some type? Very cool. Okay, what else we got here? Hey, how you doing, man? I'm just doing my initial round. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it'll pick up. It's early, right? Oh, yeah. What we got here? Nikon 910. No idea. A lot of handhelds. What is that? So I finished my cut. Is this an Olinko? Transceiver some type? Very nice fiberflex. Very cool. A lot of newer stuff. Okay, and flip around here. Oh, look at there. Suckers. Excellent. Once again, it's MCAM. Look at that, it's a learning electronics lab. I don't know. I don't know if we should ask Grandpa for it. How you doing? Bag of rubber bands. They used to shoot army soldiers with rubber bands when I was a kid. It was a big game. <laughs> Some days are gone. <clears throat> MFJ tuner. Amplifier. How you doing? Good and yourself. All right, sales good. Yeah. Well, I've sold a couple of things. Where are you out of? Uh, Sturgis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not too bad of a drive then, right? Not, not really. Yeah. Weather okay? It was great this morning. All right. Yeah, it's supposed to be a nice day. Yeah. Hey, good luck on sales. Thank you. Well, Fender amp. Frontman. Probably convert that into a tube machine. Oh, Fender Squire. And the rubber duck is back. The rubber duck, yes. What's the deal, man, with that duck? I have to have a sound effects. Look, does he make it? Oh, he does. My dog would love that. He oh, would okay. actually destroy it. Bells. This guy's got it going on. 
<laughs> Better watch out, some cows might come out of the field. <laughs> it's another great day. Yeah, it sure is, man. There's little bells. All right. I have this, but I don't have all the things. This Old scope. I think that's a Tachi. Yep. Remember those. A little reverb unit. Swing around. I don't want to miss out. Got some other stuff over here. I see a Tektronix scope. Magnifying glass. Let's check out the penny. All right. Looks pretty cool. Morning. How are you? Cobra. Yep. Four sixty-five. Use those when I was in the Air Force. Got some goodies down here. There's always goodies under the table. How you doing, man? Well, how are you? Good. How's sales? Doing good. Doing Excellent. Good. Yep. Yeah, you got some good stuff. Thank you. Appreciate that. A lot of tubes. If I could put this camera down, I could actually buy something. All right. Here we go. A lot more stuff down here. <clears throat> I believe this is some homebrew ladder line. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It says Belden. What do you guys think? Put a homebrew transmitter that didn't become what it needed to be. Ooh, look at there, Night Viking. 200 bucks, guys. That's a steal. That's a high power unit. I think it can handle like 3kW. All right, go down here further and flip around. I still have not seen Emmy. She's starting to concern me. Like maybe business band radios. Something there from SG1. Anybody know what SG1 is? Another big old Motorola. And old stuff. I'm gonna have to flip around here. Oh, another scope. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Looks like a horror. Why didn't you come out to the dinner? The other day? 465. Too lazy, couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> Resource asked me to go kick you out. I said, I'm not going to kick him out. She's a really light person. She shouldn't be getting uh, This is that 3D printer. Remember last year the guy was making green grapes that you could eat? What can we eat this time? Unless she's doing something like, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we covered these guys last year. Yeah, the woodmakers. Yep. Cool. Are you still working on them? Cool stuff. How you doing, man? We covered you last year. Is it, did it help at all? A little bit. All right. Good deal. <laughs> Check this thing out. Very cool. <laughs> All right, I left off over here. Is that a Dumco piece? How you doing? Antique? Yeah, is that what you sure is, man. Got some old scanners. Yeah. And it still works good. That'll get your attention. Yeah. All right, another table over here. There is old Ken from the CB shop. All right. You don't get power supplies any cheaper Some cigar boxes. Very cool. We still actually build ants in cigar boxes. This one here would be a good choice. I actually took them out of the plastic just because it was so. Another uh, night biking tuner. Hopefully things will pick up. It is kind of slim pickings. 
haven't really seen any of the big boat anchors besides that Collins equipment. We've got something over here that looks fairly interesting. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. So uh, that appears to be a vintage tombstone radio in maybe a homebrew cabinet. sure what that is maybe an old intercom unit it's been gutted though there's not much in there probably make an amp out of that some bags of LEDs some burns pots Those were very pricey back in the day Good morning Lynn hey how you doing doing well how are you Good. I don't know. That was, doing? I was sitting on that table. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's go this way. A lot of activity here. Must be the good stuff. That is crustacean coming Hard out of the side of the pipe because it's been leaking water and it's a yeah. Doesn't drip. Well, I, we looked at that the other night and said, don't touch anything. <laughs> if you move this the scope, pipe, we're screwed. We're in the market for a scope. This is the place this year. Here's it's got some antennas. And I'll tell you what, what happened last year. We probably had 50 people in the Jameson. Another den town. Good looking tuner. And next, and I've got the one at home, the 3000, it's got meters in it. I will tell everybody, I said, HM 102 watt meter, 20 bucks. Wait till about 10 minutes, and I said, everybody get up 30 seconds of time. And I says, we're going to sit down, we're going to roll a bobby, or we're going to crop in. What's what? Some nice ham wearing gear here, hats, shirts. Here's my view a shirt. I've got shirts. I've got a Johnson shirt, right? Over you can there. get one that says D-Lab. Johnson emblem. Huh? All right, I'm off. Peace. There we go. Oh, it's sold. <laughs> Bummer. I was just going to throw that on my shoulder and carry yeah, it out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at there, BC348, maybe? Yep, yeah, look at there. Man, I'm calling them today. Hammerlin 129, a lot of command sets. I used to modify these when I was a kid. Go on frequencies that I shouldn't be on, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah. This guy's got some good stuff. Heathkit receiver. VX60 guys would want one of them. A couple of slicers and a VFO back there. Kind of hiding those. Ooh, Johnson 6 and 2. I've got like two or three of those at home. Stuff under the table. Multi LMAC and the power supply. Good deal. Is that for both? 125 for both? I think so. Yeah? Oh, Hi. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. You know what I'm up to. I know what you're yeah, up to. Do the walkthrough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You're probably going to see this on Facebook pretty soon. Okay. All right. You're doing the Facebook no, Marketplace stuff? You, oh, you doing oh, this. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. YouTube, yeah. Okay, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Is your granddaughter still involved? She's here. Oh. She's got her own camera running oh. around here. Oh, yeah. Teaching her well. Oh, yeah. She's well, I don't know. Young. I don't know if that's really well a good thing to be teaching her. <laughs> <laughs> but we have fun. Yep. That's a good relationship. It sure yeah. is. Yep. Getting her the bug early. Yes. All right. And having something in common that you both like. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Well, good luck on the sales. Thank you. Mr. Dayton. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Yeah? How are you? Good. You helping out with all this stuff? Yep. Yeah? Yep. All right. Yeah. Cool. Is this the manual for this oh. tube desk? Okay. Yep. I'll let you guys do the business. This is what everybody needs right there. Big old knife switch. I think it's stuck. But anyway, you know who made it? 
Remember the old Frankenstein movies? How you doing, Jack? Good. Look at that. Some of the shirt pocket model. Oh, yeah. Matching yeah. speaker. The manual says EMC. Yeah. Lots of goodies. Really nice looking NC270. Those are fairly rare. It's a good price on it. Pulling the lander. What we got in here? People bought them all up. Not very many of them available anymore. I keep seeing these things that I only find in my doctor's office. Here's another one. That was uh, yeah. Terry. Yeah. Those were used for, uh, for parachute dropping supplies in. And uh, the different colors identified the different cargoes that were in them. Huh. So that the troops on the ground knew what it was. Wow. That tag there had a string on it and it had a hook on the end. Yeah. And in a C-47, they hung that hook all on the, on the bulkhead in the plane. Yeah. And when they pushed that cargo out the door, it pulled that tab out and turned them lights on. Huh. And they had all different colors. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Very cool. It's a good story, too. You guys would like to hear that okay. one. Remember this here? I think you built it. <clears throat> Did I? Yeah, solid state power supply for that Jackson radio. Huh. Oh, I remember those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think Gary got that off you, and then I got it off Gary when he went to Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff just keeps moving around. Oh, yeah. oh. <clears throat> All right, moving along here. This guy knows how to do it. You use a traveling garbage can. So this is pretty handy because you just buy the garbage and you throw it right in the garbage can. Yeah, that's right. right. That is a great idea, yeah. man. I used to have a red light for it. Yeah. Did you? Oh, there's no lights anymore, huh? Turn signals? Did yeah. You? All right. Yeah, I did. It would flash and... Yeah. Uh, I had turn signals on at one time, but they couldn't have parked. Honest, I did. Good deal, man. All right, got some metal detectors. Bounty Hunter. These are like the vintage one, guys. Jetco. Very old whites. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's an old. It says uh, Coin Master. Good. Good to see you. Looks like maybe a roller inductor. I'll swing around, get another view of this white, because you guys know I'm into those. Beauty. Soldering irons. Hey, I think there's some snug ceramuses in there. Yeah, some ungers. Are you buying that too? Yep. One I've already got ten. three of them. I know, right? So I'm not going to buy any more. Sorry, guys. All right. We got to cut that. Pump. Great. Got some stuff down here too. Maybe that's a record player or a movie projector. Not sure. Yeah, some that's meters. Off the car. I got that fixed. Old uh, Newports. I've uh, played with many of those in my day. Freak counter. Lots of goodies. I think I'm going to have to put out an all points bulletin on Emmy. She's either dodging me or she's out in the car playing her video game. This looks like a big old amp, doesn't it? <clears throat> Here. I'm not going to open it. Another scope. That's an oldie. Solid state. Okay. Maybe a power supply here. That's the other thing I'm always looking for is Variax. You don't see them very often either. Some really cool power jewels here. Oh, you know what? I was looking on the side of a milk carton to see if I could locate you because I lost you. Camera to camera. It's a showdown. It's uncam. Oh, hey, Grandpa, what you up to? You know what? <laughs> I was looking on the side of a milk carton to see if I could locate you because I lost you. Camera to camera. It's a showdown. <laughs> All right. 
All right, what, what'd you want to show me? Come. Come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mush. So, yeah, mush. So luckily, I found Emmy. Where you been anyway? You been out playing your I stupid video all, game? I've been all the way. Hey, you been playing the video game outside? You sneak out there? Huh? I've actually been out there. I've been over there the whole time. I bet. Okay. Hey, man. Right. Hey, is this me harassing you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just following her around with yeah, the camera, man. Fine. Irritating her. Yeah, definitely. Come on, come on, come on. Show me, show me, show me, show me. What are you doing? Where are you taking me? I'm not going to that bathroom down there if that's what you're going to try to pull on me. Well, it's right in here, Grandpa. Good stuff's behind that door. <laughs> Emmy. Oh, right, now you're going to start running. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Man, she... Oh, okay. You must have a sense of Ah, I see. So I'm videoing Emmy videoing the hat. So it's finished and uh -huh. it's really good. Wow. This is what it looks like when it's finished. What, what do you think it'd feel like if you stuck your finger between the hat and that needle? Probably hurt. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Good thing you showed me all this, Emmy, because I hadn't been down here. So they make the covers, they make hats, probably t-shirts, do the whole bit. Yeah. Hey, D Lab. You, huh? you know what? You probably should get one that says D Lab. Really? Well, it's supposed to be like ham radio stuff, though. Well, you can do. We've you done do. Uh, covers for like uh, stereo equipment. Oh, really? Giant speaker covers. Okay. Um, in fact, the uh, one gentleman for his daughter ordered a speaker cover and had her name put on it. Oh, do you have a website or uh -huh. cards or whatever? Yeah, go ahead and put it right in the camera so everybody can see who you are. There it is. I think I'm out of focus. Well, either way, I'll post it. I'll put a picture on there so you guys will be up in the lights. Okay, thank cool. you. Thank you. Yeah. Mine was out of focus, huh? I'm going to let you take over. I got work to do. Yeah. See ya. Right. So I'm getting a hat. The hat color is pink and then also it's um has it's gonna have purple lettering and it's gonna say shortwave girl and then under it it's gonna say Emmy. So here's the hat. Then pick out the same color for us. Here is the pink hat and I know it looks blue on camera but it's actually purple. That would actually be good if it was blue. But it's actually purple. And then I'm gonna, um, this is gonna be my lettering. And it's gonna say shortwave girl. It's gonna say shortwave girl, Emmy, right there. So apparently my hat has to go on standby because of the, um, they got a bunch of hats. So. There's Ken, Ken Electronics, man. You know what? I used to go to your shop when I was a kid, and you 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 look the same. I'm still there. You're still there, man. 27 years, same place. Good deal. Yeah. So, got Ken's Electronics. Now you do a lot of online sales, right? Well, unfortunately, I don't get much local support anymore, yeah. and online sales are a lot harder to do since eBay and Amazon have taken all over the top search results. Yep. Yep. And shipping, of course, is up too. Prices yeah. of shipping, yeah. Well, it's good to see you, man. I'm glad it's okay. still going on either way. Okay. Yeah. All right, Em. All right, so, Emmy, I got to buy something. I'm just feeling like I need to buy. Buy your finger. Buy my finger. Yes. Maybe this finger could... <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah what so here's, here's one of my yeah that's fine here's one of my favorite areas the uh, soldering equipment remember we go through this lot look at there big old thing of mitts hog down all right let me take a look here some lights I just for your microscope to let everybody know here in case you are interested we have two forums starting at 9 a.m. The first one is Tuesday, 
first one is in room D, which is in this section right here, and that is called HF from the picnic table. Uh, that's what will be going on in D at 9 o'clock. Well. There is also oh, how you doing? the DMR quarter going on at we'll go, Randy. Okay. and that will be by Dustin, and that is going Tweezers? to be in the North Expo Center. Use them all the time, so demo picks, files, you name it. All that good precision stuff. There's my one favorite in spray. B, one in room B. Deax it. 15 bucks a can. Solder. Some bins of stuff. Solder suckers. Solder wick. Lots of goodies. So I've got some of the Heiko solder stations, new Weller pistols, more candy, 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 candy. Solder tips and stations. See if they got the station that I got at home. Yeah, it looks like it. They look a little uh, under the weather. Used ones, but I'm sure they're refurbished more fine. Okay, back to the soldering stuff. I use some of this Metcal equipment at work. I can't afford it. These are pretty reasonable though. A lot of used refurbed equipment. There's a hot air station. Some good stuff. And there's the commander in chief right there doing the sands. I think he does pretty good at this every year. Okay, I am going to pull out the first ticket. It will be for a Some more little precision stuff here. RRL gift certificate. I've uh, turned the tube. Oh man, I thought Let's I had Snozoramus. Take a look at this one. Man, Our that would do some serious ground connections in your fender ramp. Oh, I might mispronounce this name. This last name. Epikonski and nine. I could probably use one of these little lights. Flex arm halogens. You have one. That's pretty nice. Oh. Very cool. And of course, magnifying glasses. This one doesn't magnify much. I don't know what the deal is with that. Tom, N9ABE, did you hear your name was called? For a $25 ARRL gift card. I see them. This may be a Luxo. They're nice, but I break them pretty easily. So I've been going with the cheaper ones, but maybe I should take a crowbar to my pocket and buy a nice new one. All right, here's my attempt at the aerial view. 9 a.m. forums, 10 minutes. So watch your watches. I'll make uh, one more call at 9 o'clock. That's the whole shebang. Thank you. All right, so we got the little red barn hat. So it's a net, right? It's a net, you know, every weekday at 8.30 on 38.20. All right, 
Now, if you're on the net, do you get a hat? Do you send me a hat in the mail? No, you have to buy one of them. And oh. They're pretty pricey. Even though $16. I'm... $16. But I'm plugging you on eBay. I know. I mean, uh, YouTube. Hey, <laughs> I said eBay. Can you believe that? Had I known you was going to do this, I would have yeah. baked your cake. Really? Yeah. In the shape of a red bar? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. All right, thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. You got pictures of this uh, Winnebago well, you live in? I, I, I've only, I got the one. I'm just oh. locating it here. Okay. My photos were all on, uh, were all on um, Facebook, and I don't do Facebook anymore. Here you go. Oh, okay. This is where it's currently parked. All right. I, I live in that. Full time. Full time. Right. 100%. You, Three, you, this is my third winter. All right, man. And you, you heat it with propane, right? Propane, yeah. And you like crack the window so you don't die that and it's very inefficient anyway and then my <laughs> antenna is this huh? I just stuck a pole in the ground yeah and then I just and it's, it's, it's higher than that now though this yeah. this is a little older but it's still in the same spot cool man yeah. well yeah. it's good hearing you on the air yeah yeah now, now we put faces of course you already knew my face so it really wasn't fair it well when you told me where you were I was like that's got to be who I think it is I'm looking for the photo of my my station right oh, here okay all right and then I'll let you I'll let you go. I just hey. took it recently. That's cool. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, you got it? Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Yezu 920, Maritron 811, power yeah. supply, and then my little watt meter over there. Oh, and that's Ooh. my conditioner because I'm so far away from my power. I hope you, my grandpa's not boring you out too much. Here are, the, here are the buttons. Well, at least they look like buttons. Radio Looks like the price yeah. went down yeah, yeah. on the Night Viking tuner. Yeah. 150 bucks, guys. I mean, that is yeah, a I've steal. Never, I've never seen it, so Say you have the uh, the, the yeah. owner and the former owner of that unit oh, yeah? here before you. Yeah. All right. So it's since I got tuner. you guys on camera, if I took it home and there was something wrong, I've got you now. <laughs> Dead to rights. <laughs> hey, talk to him. I'll tell you, there's nothing wrong with that one. It, yeah. It's, uh, that's a great deal. The only thing that's uh, happened is it collected a little more dust. So. Yeah. I'm gonna take a I look know around it the is, back. But I was ready to get get it on its way. So. Yep, I got you. Yeah. And then is this is this a like a modified globe? It's, it's a home built uh, six meter trans. Oh, it's a six. Okay. Yeah, yeah it kind of has that globe system. look. Has a globe like champ look or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. a cabinet does look like that. But yeah. That's, that's what it is. Okay. So I'm gonna give you guys a sneak preview of the six meter homebrew transmitter. Kind of looks like a globe chief style cabinet, I think. So we're gonna pull it out so you guys can see. Now this is a parts unit. Okay, so it's not like we're opening up a new Yezu transceiver or anything, right? Oh yeah. Man, oh man, yeah, it looks good. Not even finished, the pilot type yeah. light was never uh, hooked up. So we got the power transformer, is this a modulation transformer? Is that what they're doing? Probably so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or oh, that could be a film transformer. Okay. Maybe well, that's a mod. Might be modulation. Yeah, so it's or got vice that versa. screen yeah. mod, probably. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. Oh, I don't know about this guy's got his call sign that's right. on his arm tattooed. That's pretty crazy. Is this your? That's not your call sign. No, no. I thought it was that, your call sign. No, it's what would Bob Ashcraft do? That was my father. It's in memory of him. Oh. I work on mechanical stuff a lot, so okay. when I get a little confused, it's like, what would the old man do? There you go, here, man. You know, yep. so. honor your dad. That's cool, man. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting one over here. W W M A D. What would Marge Ashcraft do? He'd be mad and bad, you know. <laughs> yeah. I got you, my man. mother, so. Good deal, man. Yeah. Set that piece down. You too, get, a, get a group shot. Oh, yeah, my, yeah. My club. Okay. Here, with this. Oh, I want to do it with a camera. Okay, you can do that. Well, why don't you tell me the story? What's going on with these guys? Are they, they're, uh, they interviewing for like a position in your shop? Yeah, we're yeah. Uh, yeah. trying to figure out who wants to go over and beat you up if you don't take our <laughs> picture. <laughs> All right, I'm being so, tested out, guys. All right, so Harry, you, you can't, you can, you, you need to be in the picture, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, just, yeah. I'm just, so you where to stand to get them off. Harry just had me take two pictures, and those cost him five bucks a piece. Now I got to do it again because more people showed up. What's the deal with this? All right, you guys all in there now? 
Are we, is this the last time we're doing this? All right. I'm getting tired of sucking it in. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Oh, jeez, I dropped the camera. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. All right. How how sales been, man? How much you make? Well, the other half of their business. A lot. Have you made hundred dollars? So. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Well, that's cool though. This is the way to do it. Now, do you get to keep all the money? Oh, yes. Tell her. Yeah. All right. You know what I do? Make it two bucks a bag, and then somebody offers you a dollar. I know. I don't. I don't make it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, as long as you're having fun, right? Yeah. All right. Good luck. Yeah, I was just talking to your brother over there. He said he jacked his rates to five bucks a bag. And he's outdoing you. Do you believe me? He said he's got just piles of money over there. <laughs> he does, man. I can see it. I know. I know. <laughs> you know what you did you? Huh? You didn't wear your school hat. Do you know what I noticed? Grandpa is not wearing his hat. Uh, you know what you didn't do? Huh. You didn't wear your straw hat. I know. You know why? How dare you? Because I'm trying to grow up a little bit. How dare you? <laughs> hey, Kill, I got, got a mission for you. There you go. How about you guys worry about that? Thank you. Hey, how much for the duck? The duck's not for sale. Oh, come on. No, it's a pet duck. You, you can get a duck anywhere. Come on. Not this duck. <laughs> <laughs> how would he, do you have orange sauce for him by chance? Orange sauce? Yeah. Duck and orange sauce? Oh, so <laughs> patchy. <laughs> Maybe it's a service duck. Once again, it's MCAM. I found the rubber chicken. He's dead, unfortunately. Poor chicken. Hey man, I've already got dibs on this show. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's this Robin CB over here. It's actually in good shape. Yeah, it's actually in decent shape, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. people love these things. I have a pretty green on it. Yeah. Oh, that's right, they did have that green and silver looking one, right? T123B, I think it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised I'm, nobody's bought that thing. Which one's there? Um, this is the 240D. Yeah, 240D. That's the yeah. 40 channel one. Yeah. Mine was the 23 channel one. Wow. I wonder, does it come with a D104? I don't know. Ah, uh, it's 30 for that. Maybe he'll include it. No, there's a deal on some 10 meter yeah. radios. 35 bucks. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff, man. Yeah. Here is a homebrew 160 and 80 meter antenna tuner. Super heavy duty switches. It looks like it was built by a ham radio operator. That thing's great. So I used to have one of these, the old Kenwood 820. They're a nice rig. They're kind of a boaty looking thing, but they actually perform well. This one here is really glossy looking. I don't know if somebody waxed it or what went on. Anyway, for the price, that's a good HF transceiver. Where are you going, John? I'm not going anywhere. At least say hi. Good. <laughs> Excellent. I'll put that right on. Uh, great. <laughs> All right. So you say you spotted me on yeah, YouTube, right? I, yeah, I saw you on one of the previous years. Okay. With Shortwave Girl. Yeah, she's here. Oh, she? Yeah. yeah, she's uh, running yeah. her own show, though. She doesn't want to hang out with Grandpa anymore. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. And then this guy here is trying to steal the, the, the spotlight from me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He, yeah. Every time I turn around, man, you're behind me. I think you know I'm getting the good scenes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like your videos because you're one of the few people who actually go up to the tables and you can see what's on the table. Oh, yeah. Go nice you know, and A lot slow. of people just go flying yeah. through and you see there's a lot of people there. Yep. But uh, it's yep. nice. Yeah. Cool, man. It's good hey. to meet you. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Here's what it looks like over here. I don't know. Did you? You know what I've noticed? What's that? The second I turn my head, you leave. I can never find you. Somebody told me that they didn't want me to hang out with them because they have risen to a level higher than D-Lab. All right, so I understand 
that this is the best table in the show, right? Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. All right, what do we got going on, man? Is this guy, you see the salesman down there? Well, he just stepped out. Oh, he uh, did? He's coming over here. Oh, that's the guy? Yeah, that's, that's, All right. that's Dave, W-A-U-A-B. Okay. Uh, I saw all right, him, Dave. I wanted to say hi to her yeah. because she's a celebrity, but I was all I was all choked up. I couldn't do it. I know. I, she won't even hang out with me anymore. No. No. I, I see I, she's in the very She does. She's got her own thing going on, man. I so, want to tell you, yeah. I'm here today yep. because of your 2018 video. Mm -hmm. I have never been to Kalamazoo. This is my table setup. All right. And I thought, well, where am I going to go to see what it's like? I'm going to go to you. Cool. And I got a full tour, and I booked the room and booked the, the show, so thank you very Excellent, much. Excellent, man. Fact, so, and hi, Amy. Yeah, you yeah she's, she's sure come I just, around. She's over there, but like I said, I'm afraid to say hi. <laughs> and then I want an autograph, and I just, it'll just get <laughs> You bought that DX100 last year at oh, this yeah. Amfest, and I'm going, darn it, Terry bought that thing. No, no, it wasn't, a, it wasn't here. I bought that in oh, Illinois. Exactly. It was at the Antique Radio uh, Chicago show. And well, that's right, there was one there, but I thought yeah. for sure there was one here last year. Yeah, I didn't buy one here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, got you on that one. <laughs> so this is usually one of my favorite areas. The guys that have these junk box specials. So you really got to look close. But sometimes there's little hidden jewels amongst all the parts, right? Like, take a look at some of these old sockets. You can't buy anything like that today. So if you had like some old transmitter where one of those was damaged, here it is, right? Got some heat sink assemblies. Some old coax pieces, variable caps. These old wire wound resistors. Or tube sockets. Caps, pots, coils. I just bought some of these in one case for a project that I'm working on. Another drawing here. This one is from a whole bunch of good stuff. Tube shields. You can't find the good ones. These are the good old metal ones, right? Good stuff. All right, so I broke down and made my first purchase from EAE Sales. This guy sells a bunch of cool soldering equipment. So what I ended up getting was a Luxo magnifying glass light, which is just like the one you see behind me. Now, in the years past, I used the old fluorescent Luxos, and because of the amount of usage that I have with them, I end up breaking them, right? So I decided to buy a cheaper one, and I'm already struggling with it. So I went back to the Luxo. And then of course, every year I buy a can of Deoxit D5. It's the only cleaner to use on the contact guys. And if you want a good deal, get a hold of Bruce here at EAE Sales. He's online. Got some uh, bird watt meter stuff. Power supplies. Candy. That's good stuff. Coax connectors. You name it. This is much more convenient than getting on eBay. Because here you can actually see what you're buying. And best of all, I found the... Candy. I found the candy. <laughs> And of course, I found more candy. I don't know if I cover this table, but there's some interesting pieces. A Swan 350. The vehicle feels pretty tight, so it's probably not a drift o -matic. 375. And a TS600. With the manual. And then we got a D104. No brothers, no sisters, no mom or dad. Nice paddle, no fiber plus. So no, I'm sorry, being a lonely child, no me sir. Always look at the goodies on the floor. Hold on. Go. Because I was going to buy the Nest line, I picked yep. up the power supply, and I 
changed my mind. I'm sticking with the Drake stuff. Okay. Because I have Drake stuff. I don't have the Collins stuff. All right, you know, the cabinet, is that with it? Or? The cabinet it, it was separate, I, uh, okay. and it's not for the power supply. I don't oh. know what it's for, but the, the screw holes don't line up. Ah, I got you. So, All right. Anyway, I got 15 bucks in the cabinet. I picked it up down in Dayton. And, yeah. So. Well, that's a good price on the 516 F2. Yep. Real good price, man. Yeah. And you nobody's bought it. eBay. You can get 300 bucks. That was a bad stuff. word. What'd you say? Oh, uh, it's eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's this monster? That's beautiful. That was my six meter radio. I really like that. I replaced it with a 991A. Yeah. And I hate the menus on the 991A, and I'm really toying with not selling that and putting it back on the shelf. But it doesn't fit on my shelf, and I have to modify my shelves. Yep, I got you. Yeah. Finally found Mr. Grandpa talking to someone again. He's talking again. So, you, you want a hot dog? Yes, I want Is a hot dog a sandwich? What? Is a hot dog a sandwich? No, it's, it's not. It's not. No. Okay. Lunch break. I got a hot dog and some chips and water. Anyways, Grandpa's about to go get the yellow radio. Then I asked a question about the mouse earlier. I don't know if that... I think that's a joke. Yeah. So, I mean, this radio here is for sale, but I heard that the volume control is stuck wide open. So I'm thinking to myself, how could I turn that down? Uh, oh. So this is my favorite part about going to a ham fest, is people give me free receivers. <laughs> <laughs> it always makes it nice, man. So you say you found this one like under your porch, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. And after I, after I cleared out all of the, uh, the, the, the rat poop and everything yeah. out of there, Oh yeah, so, cleaned up pretty good, man. I appreciate yeah, you donating yeah, hey, that hey, to no D Lab. Problem, it's no very problem. cool. <laughs> All right, which you, which you, high five? Okay, you got it. I watched you uh, from last year, and I was telling your grandfather that that's why I came today because you guys did such a great job showing what the show was all about. So I thought this is the year I'm coming all the way from Cleveland to Kalamazoo. It's because of you. So thank you. I was all nervous to meet you because I've been watching you since you were. Well, I don't know, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started when I was three. Wow. You probably know more. You've forgotten more about this than I ever learned. Probably. All right. Well, that's it for another year at the Kalamazoo Ham Fest. Attendance was a little bit down, but what can you say? You know who we didn't find? The huh? dog cookies. Yeah, the dog cookies were in here. She's gone. She must have been sick. Chessie's going to be bummed out when we get home. Anyway, we'll see you guys next year. And remember, the Farmington Hills Antique Radio Club is coming up in February. And we'll be there. See you again. Terry here, D-Lab with... Shortwave Girl. See ya.